This is the first time they mentioned the Fire Emblem. What the fuck is the Fire Emblem? He just drops the Fire Emblem. It's the first time I've fucking heard about that. I've seen that in text in this entire game. He just fucking drops it out of nowhere. He's like, yeah, he studied the Sacred Stones. Well, actually, he wanted to know about the Fire Emblem, but... It's like, what the fuck? I'm just gonna drop the name of this other plot MacGuffin just randomly in the epilogue, so... Yeah. Because, why the fuck not? Oh, look! Credits! Oh. Look, pictures of all the people I let die. Yay. I like starving things with spears. I like stabbing things with swords. <laughs> the Empire's Reach. 200 turns, really? Oh, yeah, that was the one with the, uh. Yeah. Seth, the Silver Knight. Seth returned to Renas of Ephraim and his fellow knights. His dedicated service made him the most trusted of the new king and queen's guardsmen, as well as the most famous of the knights in all of Renas. Renes. Whatever. Franz, the dead, died at Victims of War. Silent Gilliam. Gilliam returned to his home of Frelio, where he continued to serve the crown as faithful as a faithful knight. His imposing countenance was said to strike fear into the hearts of even the most arrogant and brash of Freelia's new recruits. Not to mention he slew the Demon King. <laughs> Mulder, wise counselor of Pornstash, died at the last yeah, the Tower of Elni. Vanessa, dutiful writer, died at Victims of War along with Franz. Ross, his father's son. He returned to Id... I did the village, bleh, village of his youth and helped rebuild it after the bandit attack that brought it to ruin. Years later, he set out on his own to perfect his fighting skill and hone both body and spirit. Garcia died at last hope. The genetic freak, Big Papa Chop. Colm, the good-natured thief, also snuffed it because he didn't know what dodging meant. Nemia, the tearful archer. She returned to her village and passed her days in peace and quiet. Years later, she traveled to the capital of Renace and as an archery instructor for their military. She never could resist a good cry. I wonder if these change if other people are still alive. Lucifer, died at Saint, yeah, Saint of Light, died at Scorched Sand. Loot, prodigy. After the War of the Stones, Loot returned to Renee's, what, whatever, that place, and continued her arcane studies. She spent far less time locked in her library, preferring now to explore the outside world. She grew into a great and well-traveled sage, even though she was... What, did I turn her into a sage? Yeah. Joshua, the Tempest King. Joshua returned to Johanna to rule over as it is king. His skills as a leader had grown great and Johanna flourished as never before. He never outgrew his love of travel and games of chance. Natasha, sacred healer, got shot in the face at last hope because I didn't have any fucking goddamn tanks. Ford! <coughs> <coughs> Ford got pwned. Kyle, the ardent knight, his service to the royal family of Renes continued without change. 
He became a battalion commander and gained much trust and responsibility for training new recruits. Alright, this is how you slay demons! Pfft. Tana, the Winged Queen, joined the party and immediately got chopped in half and rested at the bottom of the harbor. As time went on, he succeeds his father Hayden as King of Fralia. His resourcefulness and tactical prowess helped him not to make the tech scroll any faster, but build a court of loyal vassals that served to lead the country to greater prosperity. Graceful Siren. Siren continued as commander of Fralia's Pegasus Knights, her grace and beauty and flight were the subject of many songs and paintings, and her popularity soared. And she was the only Pegasus Knight to survive. Amelia, Rose of War, died shortly after joining the party to artillery magic by a pedophile. Dussel, Obsidian General. Following the war, Dussel Tussle returned to Grotto, where he was instrumental in its rebuilding. He spent his remaining years watching over Grotto and sharing his wisdom with other nations as an expert combat instructor. Fucking slow as scroll. Null, Watcher of Darkness. Null returned to Grotto where he dedicated himself to rebuilding it and fulfilling Lion's vision. When the country was restored to its former glory, he disappeared without a trace, never to be seen again. Cormog, aloof landsman. Cormog referred, turned to Grotto to assist the reconstruction of his country. Shortly after, he left to wander on his own. When he reappeared, he rejoined the army. Not as a knight, but as a common soldier. What? Whatever. Bimbo, Queen of Light. She succeeded her uncle as ruler of Rohan Theocracy several years after the war ended. She never lost her unique perspective on life. She spent much of her rule visiting the neighboring countries. We really need you to direct our... <laughs> the dwarf! As Rachel rose to become queen, he remained by her side, watching her grow to become the queen she was destined to be was Dazzle's greatest joy in life. Renick, rich merchant, got pwned. Garrick, the desert tiger, the magnum mongorian. Garrick continued as a mercenary over the years. His reputation grew so great that he had more job offers than he could handle. One day, without warning, he left, never to return. Tethys, beloved dancer. She danced from city to city, and the entire continent became her stage. Her fame grew and grew, and large crowds gathered wherever she performed. Okay. Ellen, mini-mage. Ellen continued his studies, modeling his life after the teachings of... Eventually, his education branched up into different paths. His insatiable curiosity led him on a trip to explore the world, dropping satellite lasers of various flavor on everything. That dude. He returned to that place, where he remained a faithful servant to the Monarchites. His days were not spent in isolation, though. Many of the friends he met during the War of the Stones came to visit his village. <laughs> Mira, the great plot MacGuffin. After bidding her farewells to Ephraim, she returned to the Darkling Woods where she lived a long and full life, served by the people of Carpele, whatever, and comforted by the memories of her dear friends. Because you know, yeah. Ephraim, Restoration King. Busy days awaited him upon his return to Renan, whatever. He oversaw the rebuilding of not only his own country, but also of the entire continent of Magvel. His work was difficult, but his success made him a legend. Restoration Queen. Erica returned to the, her home country and began the reconstruction effort with her brother Ephraim. 
Seeing peace return to the lives of her people filled her with happiness. Her smile became a symbol of her people's joy. Blah, 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 blah. Is it over? It's over. Okay. Now I can move on to other projects. Fuck this nonsense. See you next LP.